Welcome to Carton House for the finals of the Irish Open Match Play 2014. The championship final will be played on the Mark O'Meara course, a magnificent mature parkland stretching over 7,000 yards, located only 14 miles from Dublin city centre. Once home to the Duke of Leinster, designed by double major champion Mark O'Meara. The golfers have played matches within their own county, so we're dealing with county champions trying to become All-Ireland champions. Now the county champions will test their mettle and see who prevails as 2014 singles and four ball All-Ireland champion. It's time to find out who's going to be the best of the best. And to open proceedings for the Irish Open Match Play Championship 2014, Richard Hickey from Limerick. The Irish Open Match Play is a unique format where guys become county champions. And once out of your county, we're here at the wonderful Carton House, down to the last 32, trying to identify who's going to be the 2014 Irish Open Singles Match Play Champion. But also a very unique event. We've got a four ball format. And we can also see who's going to be the 2014 four ball champions. And as you can see there, everyone is ultra competitive, no matter where they are, trying to get it down as quick as possible. They're representing the county here, representing their club, their parish, and their family, and it's all to play for. Talking to Declan, the champion of Kerry, taking on Richard today, champion of County Down. Kerry and Down is also a great rivalry. How do you fancy your chances today, Declan? Uh, not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm playing well enough coming into the last uh, couple of weeks, so uh, we'll give it our best shot anyway and hope for the best. So Clem, congratulations, you're champion of Louth. Thank you very much, Guy. Delighted. And you have a very special caddy with you today. I have. Caddy is going to keep me in tow today, and any time I get upset, she's going to keep me in an even keel, hopefully. Siobhan, Siobhan, are you the boss out there today, Siobhan? Absolutely. Not just today, every day, Gary. <laughs> Simon, you're the winner from Meath. You've got a bottle of oil today with Louth. Yeah, yeah. You looking forward to it? I am, yeah. No, it should be fun. It should be fun. Irish Open match play. It's a, it's a brand new tournament, but obviously a very exciting tournament. Are you delighted to be here? I thrilled, yeah. I couldn't believe it really, but anyway, I got lucky a few times and the rest is history. <laughs> well, hopefully that luck continues yeah. today and hope you have a great day. Great, thank you very much. Joe Debsey, champion from Wicklow, Irish Open match play here at Carton House. Five matches Joe took you to get through, so the form was great. Yeah, um, very lucky in a couple of the games, obviously it was uh, very tough games. Um, a couple of them down the main days. Uh, playing him on off two that day and I, I was at my best to beat him but luckily enough I got through and I'm here today so to hopefully do what's today as well Best of luck Joe, hope you have a great day Thank you very much sir Champions of Wicklow Can you become champions of All-Ireland in this Irish Open match play? Jeez, I hope so we'll, soon, we'll know more at the end of the day I think next weekend is when the competition is really going to kick in hard you know. so just trying to get through today if we can and then we'll see then we'll hopefully think more about that kind of thing you know. Some guy told me this morning that he reckons you're favourite to win the whole thing Can you become the inaugural Irish Open match play champions in the four ball? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, Gary, if things go according to plan, uh, it's easy talking a good game, but we have to do it out here on the course. And have you played the O'Meara course at Carton House before? Uh, yes, yeah, we played it. We came down here last week for a practice round. I actually like it. It's quite open, it's long, and it's a very nice course. Tom, the, the word around the campfire is that you're the, you're the secret weapon this week. Do you fancy your chances? Just take one hole at a time and see how it goes. You know, if you don't play well, it doesn't matter. You're not going to win. If you play well, you have a chance. It's as simple as that. Kevin, Kevin is the, the strength in the partnership. He keeps me going. Out to the action. Pretty boy, Joe McShane. Dublin South champion on the tee. On number 10.
it's a tough week for these guys. They're trying to deal with the nerves. Joe Dempsey has coped very well so far. There's trusty caddy there. Interesting spectator. Garden House. With Gay Hannon here in the four ball section. Nice action. Just under the hole. Leaves himself a good birdie try. Jimmy O'Sullivan. Kerry champion in the four ball. Trying to nestle this up close to the hole. He's done that nicely. Now the young bucks from Fermanagh. Jamie and Michael McBride made a great effort to try to get over to this from England. They're studying in Preston. They're excited about their week ahead. Lots of play for Fermanagh champions. Can they bring the title back across the border? Lovely touch there. Mark Donnelly and Michael Fleming, the pride of Antrim, down in Carton House this weekend. Declan Mooney, Limerick champion in the four ball section, trying to tidy up here. Oh, just slips by. Back to the McBride brothers on. Second hole, par three down the hill. That's a beautiful shot from Michael. Now Jamie for the birdie. And he's got it. Fist pumping all around. A little bit of practice there for Michael. Beautiful setting here at the O'Meara course. A few spectators out. Oh. Burger time. Bit of sustenance. It's going to be a long day today. Trying to keep up their strength. 18 holes of pressure. Try to get into next weekend. And that's good work from Gay Hannon. Leaves himself a good chance for birdie. Now here's the Kilkenny pair. Shea and Shane. And the trusty assistant. Boys are doing well. Big game with tip today. More than golf that is I think. Good look back at 13 here. Excellent shot from the downslope. Ooh. Looking for the secret. Can they find it? Maybe this is the secret. No. Slides by. Westmead champions. Champions everywhere, really. Big game for the Wexford boys today. Nice little crowd developing here. See if they can get their guys through. A little bit clean there. Black and white. Shane Lowry's colours on a Sunday afternoon on the European tour. He's trying to dress to impress in the last 32 of this championship. Not what he was looking for there out of the bunker. Of course here in fabulous condition at the O'Meara Carton House. No excuses. Beautiful weather for late October. Plays litter with champions. Just goes to show middle of October. Look at the speed of those greens. That's a tricky pitch here. Looks like they've played it nicely though. Declan Mooney from Limerick. Slides by. Gay Hannon trying to close out his match on 15. Against Cavins, Trevor White and Niall Wilson. Super shot. Caddy likes it. Always a good sign. Boys are up for this match play. Pressure mounting with Kilkenny and Tipperary. Up in Tipperary's year. And as for Kilkenny, great touch there from Shea.
Good luck at 14th here. Carlos Geronin playing alongside Shane Foley. Beautiful shot there from Ger. Back to 15, laying up. Look how fast these fairways are for October. Golf course is a credit to all involved. Went there for Waterford, but there was an epic battle with Westmead. Michael, well done today. You were the pride of Westmead coming in, and you still are. Tough battle with Tommy today. Yeah, definitely. Thanks very much for that. Um, I just got up on him early on and managed to stay ahead all the time. So, to be fair, now he's a very, very good golfer, but just on the day, things went wrong for him there coming in towards the finish, and uh, they managed to get the upper hand. So, thanks very much. Obviously, delighted to be in for next weekend, and you're Absolutely. still alive in this tournament? Yes, thrilled to be here, yeah. Absolutely. Every every match is another, another day out and step forward, you know, so... Really looking forward to the next one now. Anthony, well done. Great win. Six and four. Comfortable in the end? Comfortable. Uh, Joe was a bit nervous. Very nervous at the start. On the fourth hole, I had an eagle. Or the sixth hole, I had an eagle, which sort of he collapsed after that. Um, it was it was a very friendly game. Most enjoyable and very courteous game. And so, very sporty. So great start for your Irish Open match play experience. Yeah, good. And looking forward to the next weekend. Tony, well done. Great win today. On 15, four and three. Must be delighted. Yeah, uh, happy with the, the win in the end. Uh, it was tough going, you know. Obviously, we were close enough the whole way around, and the last couple of holes, I managed to pull away and get the job done. Michael and Andrew, our first winners this afternoon in the four ball section. You must be delighted with that win. Happy days, yeah. Not too bad. Tough game now. Conditions weren't great. The wind was tough, but other than that, happy enough with the way we played. Yeah, yeah. yeah the boys were very good, uh, very good opponents. So uh, yeah, we're happy with the win. When you get home early, see, it's, it's good, you know. So, hopefully we'll look forward to the next day out and same again. William and Graham, Donegal champions, another win over Dublin. You must be happy with that? Delighted, I'm delighted. That, yes. uh, that was tough work. I uh, had to play tough golf there and uh, the conditions now. I'm delighted with it. Conditions were difficult. It got windy on the back nine there. You obviously controlled your ball pretty well. Well, uh, I hit the ball fairly well today. I was pleased with my game. I mean, William stuck on there well too. So well, mm -hmm. we paired up well. Glad. Obviously excited. Uh, Irish Open match play four ball system. You've got out of Donegal. You're now through to the next round. Excited for next weekend? Oh, uh, extremely. Yeah. yeah We've okay. everything booked up, ready to go. Well, I haven't mind booked, but I'll not be long <laughs> booking it now. <laughs> you might get Jim McGuinness to come down and look after you next week. He's nothing to be doing at the moment. Nothing, that's uh, right. Nothing. But he carry for me, maybe. There you go. <laughs> Well done, guys, and we'll see you next weekend. Hey, thanks very much. Thank you. So we come to the end of play for day one. Last 32. Wins for Kerry and Tip. Dublin North and Louth. Wicklow 6 and 4 over Sligo. Tommy Gall 4 and 2 over Dublin again. Sixteen winners and sixteen losers, but we're back again next week for the last sixteen. Welcome back to day two. 
The last 16 this morning, 36 holes in front of the guys today. If they can stay in the winner's circle, a lot to play for. All-Ireland Championship on the line. It's been a foggy morning this morning at Carton House. Joe McShane in the early action. On hole number three. The course has been presented in wonderful condition. Guys are keen to try and make it make a fast start. Look at those greens. Absolutely perfect. No excuses on the greens today. Just trying to deal with the nerves. Cork's Anthony O'Shea trying to save par here. A little undercut from Andy. Tough shot here for Gay Hannon from the bunker. Wow. That'll certainly get, win the hole there. Smiles all round. Tough pairing, that Kildare pairing. Slippy put down the green. What a setting this morning here at the O'Meara course. Indian summer, mid-October, still perfect conditions. The golf has been very good too. Joe Dempsey from Wicklow, hole number nine. Beautiful putt there from Joe. I think he might be one to watch. Five, five games to get out of Wicklow. Everyone's keen to play their part here. No one wants to go home this morning. I think if they spend too much time on there, they will be, though. And we have an epic encounter here in the four balls. Would you believe the seventh tie hole with Fermanagh and Donegal? Something has to give. Fermanagh guys under pressure from the bunker on the right. Parput misses this to win the match for Donegal. Just slides by a little. In for Fermanagh. Eighth tie hole. Oh no, he's missed it. Fermanagh progress. Disappointing way to lose. Brothers in arms. Oh, that's got to be tough to take for Donegal. Carlo ready and waiting. Straight back at it for Fermanagh. Great to see Kenny get through. A little bias, nothing wrong with that. Another four ball Tyrone champions. Tricky putt down the hill here. John Ryan trying to get up and down from the right of 16 to close out the match for Limerick against Leash. And that's a wonderful touch. Sees them advance to the next round. Tough guys to beat, maybe. Back to the action again on 16. Tom Muldoon trying to close out the match here. And that should do it. Shake, handshakes all round. Barry Dunn finding the green on 16. And his partner finding the hosel. Never want any of those. But Barry does the business and Kildare through. Nice win on 16. Not a winner still with Carlo and Fermanagh. They'll have to come back tomorrow morning to finish off their game. So semi-finals we'll see. Wicklow take on Monaghan. And Dublin North take on Clare. Four balls yet to finish in that Carlo Fermano, but Loud and Limerick in the morning. And Kildare will have a lie in to wait the winners. Welcome to day three, semi finals, singles and four balls. All to play for this morning, that dream chance to play in the final of the All Ireland Irish Open match play. Joe Dempsey getting underway in this morning's first semi final against Monaghan. Dublin versus Clare.
Loud and Limerick face off on the four ball. Gorillas in the mist. And Carlo and Fermanagh trying to decide who's going to win. And face Kildare in the other semi. Oh, just misses from Jamie. We're down to 18. Something's got to give. Great shot from Gerona from Carlo. Trying to save par here on 18. Fermana trying to get it up and down for the bunker. Just releases on past. Two putts from here. Oh, he's left a bit of work to do. Back bright for par. Just slides by. It's Carl has two chances. Oh, just horseshoes out. Oh no. Tough way to finish. For man is still alive. Tough to get past these young fellas. I think Kildare. Old experience with Barry and Gay. Ignorance of youth. Dempsey trying to save par from the bunker on number six. Tough shot for John Lawler. Trying to keep it under the trees. Not easy to judge. Gone through the back. John trying to save par from the back of the green. Flying the flag for Dublin. Moved on that a little bit. I think the nerves are going to play their part today. There's a lot at stake. Good shot in there for Tom Muldoon. Kevin Commons, the experienced campaigner. Lovely chip in there. Now, let's see if Tom can roll this in. Just a little shy. Declan Mooney trying to respond for Limerick. Oh, Kevin. Ooh. Ooh. He should have hit the ball a little harder, not himself. Tom Muldoon from the bunker trying to pick it clean. Oh! Welcome to the Irish Open match play. Lovely chip there from Liam Hayes. John trying to save par to stay one down. Excellent work for half there. Monaghan's Jared O'Callaghan on the tricky 16th. Wonderful approach. Has he hit it? No, it's just shy. Two putts here for Dempsey. Close out this match. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. But it is the Joe Show and he gets it done. Excellent work. We're here with the morning semi-finalists, Gerard O'Callaghan and Joe Dempsey. Gerard, great run to the semi-final, but not your morning this morning. No, things didn't go as well as the last, as yesterday now in the other two matches, but in all fairness, Joe is a better player throughout the match and deserves it. Joe, you must be delighted. Uh, champion from Wicklow. It's a while since Wicklow won in All-Ireland. You got a final this afternoon. You must be quite excited. I really am, yeah. I was, like, I was, I was up three early in play, and I thought I was going to go on and, uh, you know, kind of win it fairly handy. But in fairness, the jury stuck with it, and, and coming near the end there, now we made a couple of silly mistakes, and I brought him back into it. But looking enough there now on um, on 15, I made a great up and down for a win, and looking enough, I just carried on from there.
Welcome back to the action. First semi-final decided. Who's going to face Wicklow? It's nip and tuck here with Dublin and Clare. Dublin's John Lawler trying to find this green on 16. Apply some pressure to Liam Hayes. And he does. How can Liam respond? And it's an excellent shot also. It's been a great run for Liam Hayes. He's got to be proud of himself, but John is trying to stay alive too. Just misses on the right-hand side. A little bit of work to do. Liam to go Dormy 2 up. Oh, nerves are playing their part. Oh, we've a little go good, good. For mana here. Excellent shot. This is a ding dong battle with Kildare. It's going to go right down to the wire, I feel. Beautiful 14th hole here at the O'Meara. The ideal tee shot, or second shot, puts a little pressure on his partner. Nice stroke down the hill for Gay. Did he hit it? Oh, just shy. Slides by for Fermanagh. Big putt here for Jamie. That's gone by two. Slight advantage for Kildare. And this is going to be a ding-dong battle. Loud and Limerick. Experienced campaigners on both sides. Tom doesn't like that one. Put for Declan Mooney from Limerick. He's played great golf all week. Put for Louth for the win just slides past John Ryan who's had a great morning really dovetailing well with Declan Tipperary man representing Limerick I think he might get the keys of the county if he can win this that's a mistake for Liam Hayes on 18 left himself with a really difficult pitch Oh, that's just a wonderful shot to close out the match against John Lawler. Not a lot John could do with that. Great work there for Liam Hayes. Can John respond? Tricky trying to get the pace over that slope and then away from him. And leaves it short. And he taps in for his four. And this is it. This is what stands between Liam Hayes and a final spot. Liam, wonderful result this morning. One whole victory on the last. Gets you into the semi-final, but it's it's been a long journey to get to the final this afternoon. Yeah, we played a couple of rounds in, in Clare. Um, again, you know, from a tournament perspective, great fun, great camaraderie, lots of invitations to play other courses after Christmas and the New Year. So all in all, I think the tournament has a, has a spot in the Irish calendar and hopefully goes from strength to strength. And it's a great venue here at Carton House for the final. Fantastic. You know, two courses and you look at the house behind us and the day we have in the middle of October, absolutely brilliant. Liam, the very best of luck uh, this afternoon. You have a tough, tough battle against Joe Dempsey. So it's Wicklow versus Clare this afternoon, but the very best of luck. Thank you. 18 holes couldn't separate Loud versus Limerick, but eventually the Limerick boys prevailed on 20. Gives them a little respite for the final this afternoon, but who are they going to meet? They don't really care, they're just happy to be there. How are you feeling, lads? Excited for this afternoon? Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, a bit tired, it was a, a long round this morning, but uh, hopefully um, we'll perform this evening and lift the trophy. Declan, we saw some great golf from you this morning. Are you 
Going to produce some of the same this afternoon? I'm hoping the general chip in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I had a good morning this morning, all right. Uh, but uh, the main thing was to stay with the boys, you know, and we did. Now, they had a chance to win in 18, I had a chance to win in 19, and didn't do it, but got a good part in 20 to win it. So, hopefully more of the same for the afternoon. Well, guys, it's been great having you in this first ever Irish Open match play four ball championship. Best of luck for this afternoon. Thanks, Thank Charlie. Thank you. Cheers. So who's going to meet Limerick in the final? Kildare one up playing 17. A lot of pressure on Fermanagh. Good shot there from Gay Hannan. Just get it out. Leaves himself an uphill putt. Tricky shot there from long over the green. It's going to be short and left and that's not going to be enough. Put for Gay Hannon on 17. And it's in. He raises his arms. Final spot, perhaps. McBride to try, try stay alive for Fermanagh. It's been a great run for the young boys in Fermanagh, but it's the final for Kildare. Guys, he had an epic battle the whole way. Seven tie holes last night to get through, but unfortunately this morning in the semi final, he just missed out. How are you feeling? Got it. Really got it after coming all that far and then losing it. And we put out whenever we should have won. Could have won. Could have won. We made it hard work the whole. Ah, oh, we made it, yeah, it was a really hard work. It was just oh, heartbreaking. Well, it's, it's the first, you know, it's the inaugural year of the Irish Open match play. You've won your county championship. You've got to the semi finals. How's the whole experience been for you? Fantastic. Oh, unreal. Really, really oh, good. Absolutely amazing. Very good. Uh, really well organised. Really yeah. well. It's like you feel like pros for that. For them, few for days. That few days, yeah. But, thanks, I mean, yeah. There's, there's a, I mean, there's not enough you can say about the venue, Carton House. It's oh. been, oh, been oh, a the last few days. Oh, it's yeah. fantastic. I've never played in greens like it. I've played in really like is. it. it really I've never played golf good. like I've played the last few days. Oh, really? We still struggled. Yeah. It just shows you the standard. Like, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Hopefully next year we can go two steps further than this. Uh, Kildare County Champions Barry and Gay great win this morning in the semi-final on 17 Limerick this afternoon in the final you must be excited we are we're absolutely look, really looking forward to it I mean we're thrilled because we never we never imagined we'd come this far you know so we've, we've here, we're here now and we're going to go out and we're going to enjoy it and whatever happens will happen yeah, like we had a little mini goal and mini goal when we got to the finals was to get to Sunday morning whatever happens happens and when we look back what happened in round one three down after three very first qualifying round could have been over yeah. so it's been all uphill since then
So the singles final sees Wicklow's Dempsey versus Clare's Liam Hayes. And Kildare versus Limerick. Liam Hayes on five. Perfect t shirt down the left hand side. Dempsey trying to take advantage here. And it's a lovely approach in from Joe. Beautiful backdrop there at Carton House. Nice private dwelling. Beautiful approach in there from Kildare. Nice shot from Barry. Will he have St. Gabriel with him this afternoon? A little bit loose there from Declan. Maybe tiredness and a little nerves coming in. We see that from Liam Hayes. Poor pitch up the slope. Can he rectify the damage? No, he can't. Chance for Dempsey. He doesn't take advantage. Taps in for his par. John Ryan on fire this morning. His trusty partner, Declan. Big putt here. Yes, great work there from Declan. Chance for Barry and Kildare to reply. Just misses on the left. Rolls it in nicely. Back to the singles. It's been a great run for Liam Hayes. Beautiful look here at the second hole of Carton House. Everyone's in a rush to be champion. Liam just laying up down the fairway on six. Tricky shot there for Barry. Leaves it well short for Kildare. Can Limerick take advantage? Oh, beautiful old style chip and run. Releases down to the hole. Excellent work from Declan Mooney. Big putt here for Kildare. Tricky to get the speed right. Okay, Hannon trying to help out his partner Barry. Comes up just short. Liam Hayes in trouble off the tee on number six. Trying to get back into position here on the par five. Chance for Dempsey. That's a wonderful shot. Leaves himself a good uphill chance for Birdie. Tricky fifth hole at, at the O'Meara course. Tough pin position today, back right. Not a bad leave there for John Ryan. Can Declan get one in close here? Beautiful shot there. Tough putt here for John Ryan. Big swing from left to right. Leaves himself plenty to do. Putt for Gay Hannon for Kildare. Oh, just slides by. You need a partner in a four ball. And Kildare have that combination. Can Declan respond? He's been a rock for Limerick all week. But for the win for John Ryan. Comes up just short. It's going to be a ding, bo ding dong battle this afternoon. It's been a whole of trouble for Liam Hayes here. Can Dempsey make the most of it here? Needs to hit this and slow up the hill. It's been a long weekend. Survival of the fittest this afternoon.
So you've got cool atoms, Dempsey. Oh, it just misses on the right. Say it ain't so. Dempsey with his trusty assistant, Ted, there. Will he give up the sticks for Wicklow Hurling for Adam Scott's bag next year? Maybe a win might improve his CV. John Ryan trying to save his soul from the bunker. Good shot out there for Declan. Looks very composed in this final. Nervy putt there from Kildare's Gay Hannon. Chance for John Ryan. Oh, look how pure these greens are on the Amira course. Liam Hayes, Clare champion on number nine. Trying to force his advantage. Tricky downhill putt there. Chance for Dempsey with his trusty Ted. Did he get the club right here? Yeah, it's a good shot. A little long, but good shot. Great look here from the tee on the par four. Eighth hole, tough par four around the corner. Back to Liam Hayes on number nine. Chance here for Dempsey on 11. Can he take advantage? Oh, he's lost that right in the bunker. Good chip in for Liam Hayes here, trying to bump and run it in. Just a little shy. Pressure on Dempsey, though. Stuck in the bunker. Needs to pick it clean. Oh, it's clean over the green. And he goes one down after 11. Tough par 4 eighth here. Par should be your friend on this one. Swing there from Barry. Can John get this up and down? Lovely touch there. Tricky putt down the hill for Limerick. Another one slides by for Kildare. This for the win. Oh, two chances though. Can John Ryan clean up here? Yeah, super work there. This for the half. Sometimes finals can hinge on that. Bad three putt there for Gay Hannon. He's not going to be happy. Liam Hayes there just testing how long the grass is here. Chance for Joe Dempsey. He needs to get one back quickly. He's struggling down the left-hand side too. Big putt here for Kildare's Gay Hannon. On number nine. But John Ryan does the business again. Strikes the advantage for Limerick. 14 is a crucial hole here at the O'Meara course. And it's a good shot from Liam Hayes safely on the green. Pressure back on Dempsey. Joe responds, just a little unlucky. Important chip and putt here. He's running out of holes. Big putt here for Liam Hayes. Secures his par. Must make for Dempsey. Oh, and it just horseshoes out. Four holes left to go. It's running out of time for Dempsey. Joe and Ted's famous journey coming to an end, perhaps. Starting to get slack here. Pressure is taking over in this final. Never nice when the when the brain leaves the body. Kildare trying to redeem themselves down the hill on 13. Big chance here for Limerick's Mooney. Horrible.
the life for Dempsey on 15 out of the divot over the water. Nightmare combination. Nightmare result. Liam Hayes just to find the green to be Irish Open match play champion. And he does it beautifully. I think we have a winner. Yeah, Joe's had enough. And Liam Hayes is our champion. What a wonderful achievement. In Orgel, Irish Open match play champion. And there's the boss, Andy Hickey, with our champion. Back to the four ball, still plenty to play for. Lay up there on the right hand side. Declan Mooney. Over the water. What a wonderful shot there. Can John Ryan respond? Keep his partner in check. And he does. It's a great shot. Limerick have been so tough today. Claire have thrown Claire have thrown everything at them. The final straw you'd have to feel for Barry here. Good contact. Just left of the flag. We're going to go down fighting Kildare. Tricky putt here for Declan. So fast down this 15th green. But it slides by. It's down to his partner, John Ryan. He's on his own. Can Kildare do something emotional here? Two putts to be 2014 Irish Open four ball champions. John Ryan has the honour. And what an honour it is. Just tapping in. And we have a winner. And the winners are Limerick. Tough luck to Kildare. It's been a great week's golf. Well done Declan and John. Worthy champions. I'm delighted to be talking to Declan and John. Limerick County champions and now All-Ireland champions. First ever Irish Open match play four ball. You must be delighted, lads. You played some great golf today. Yeah, we're, we're over the moon, thrilled. Um, we come up here just to enjoy the weekend and hopefully progress to this stage. I mean, more hope than anything else. But just today, everything, we got the breaks at the right time and uh, we dovetailed in well as well. And just thrilled. And it's a fantastic competition. And roll on next year. John, Declan played some great golf this morning. You had a little bit of a rest, but you produced some great golf this afternoon. You must be delighted with yourself. Absolutely. Um, like I was very disappointed in my game this morning. Like, but I had great back up in Declan. You know, um, he played fantastic golf. You know, and I was putting him under pressure all the time. But at least I think I repaid him some bit this evening. You know. Well, definitely. So it's a four-ball golf, and you're the Irish Open four-ball champions, guys. Congratulations. Great stuff. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Liam, you're Irish Open match play champion. It's a, a great achievement for you, but I know you have a lot of people that you'd like to thank for today. Absolutely, yeah. It's been a long journey. It's been a long year. Um, it's been a good year uh, getting out of the county and going on to today. So, obviously, there are people to thank. First of all, I'd like to thank um, Dave Foley, our head pro down in Dromolan Castle. Uh, for years, I was hitting it right, and now he's forced me to hit it left and sometimes straight. Uh, my caddy, Nigel McIlkenny. Um, couldn't be with me today, but made me hit the driver all day yesterday, and fortunately that worked out well as well. And uh, you know, being here for the weekend, you know, it's like away from home. It's kind of hard, so I uh, got a lot of text messages and uh, good wishes from friends and family back home. So thanks to all those as well. Connor Cartonhouse have given so much to golf with the Irish Open, with the Cups and Shields, Golf and Union of Ireland, and now the Irish Open match play. Uh, it's a premier resort and venue in Ireland. You must be delighted to be involved again this week. That's great. I'm, I'm delighted that it went so well. Uh, it's another unique event on the Irish golfing calendar and one that we're delighted to be associated with. Um, I'm particularly happy for, for Andy and everyone involved in the Irish Open match play that it went as well as, well as it did and we're really looking forward to see where, he, where it goes from here. And Brian, it's also a case of Satan to give him back. Are you delighted to be involved as well? Absolutely. It's, a, it's an innovative new event and uh, you know, for, for us to be involved and get a chance to broadcast it, it's great. It's great for the players who played in it to see themselves on TV. That added a bit of pressure of the cameras being present as well. Um, I'm sure it had a bit of an effect. So, so we're happy to show it and um, happy that other sponsors like Carton House and Nemo and, and McGurk's Golf have, have got beyond, uh, behind it as well. I think it'll uh, go from strength to strength. I think it's, you know, we're so used to seeing professionals on TV. It's been fun to see the amateurs out and bleeding like the pros do some, sometimes. Are you going to get involved yourselves next year, get the clubs out perhaps? 
But what it does do is it makes you feel a little bit more human and, and whenever you're on the golf course and realise that uh, everyone can make mistakes. And uh, I think for the guys that are here, one, it was great to get out of the counties to make it all the way here, but to, uh, to actually end up as an Irish Open match play champion. What a wonderful achievement and uh, something that would be encouraging all the Carton House golfers to get involved in next year.